Hi, I'm Rick Moody, and I'm Director of Academic Affairs for AARP in Washington, D.C. I'm here attending the uh, National Co-Housing Conference. Senior co-housing is an area of interest to us because it's one potential living arrangement that has lessons about uh, mutual aid, social support, a lot of things that are very important and will be even more important as uh, aging boomers uh, move into their retirement years time to come. Uh, it's true that very few people over 65 are involved in senior co-housing, but uh, many people talk about the idea of living in close proximity with friends, relatives, and so forth. And I think that we can learn lessons from senior co-housing that actually can be applicable to the vast majority of older people who say, they tell us anyway, that they prefer to age in place, that is, stay in the same home that they've been living in for many years. That's often a good idea. It's not always easy to do. There are major issues, for example, of coping with disabilities, of gaining in-home health support, things of that sort. But even beyond that, uh, senior co-housing really represents in some ways a utopian effort. It probably will never become a mass movement, but it certainly has some attractions that are very different from continuing care retirement communities. So, for example, I see a future where the CCRCs uh, perhaps begin to learn some lessons from the senior co-housing world. Maybe they apply some of those lessons. I'm not sure that we'll ever see uh, a single format for senior living for everybody, but I think the real challenge is to learn lessons from all the different varieties that exist out there. And even in forms like senior co-housing that attract relatively few, they may have important lessons that can be applied in different forms to lots of other folks. So that's why senior co-housing is important. That's why I'm here at the conference, and there are fascinating lessons to be learned.